Eric Grotebois, EPGD Attorneys at Law. So a lot of people ask me about networking. So let's just go back to basics. So what is networking? Networking is going out into the world and meeting people, right? But it, there's more to it than just meeting people. It's meeting people with an objective. Now it's a double-edged sword because the big, big objective is I'm trying to grow my business and the way I'm gonna do that is by meeting people who are they're gonna send me referrals. But the interesting thing is you have to have the opposite mindset. You have to go out in the world to give and then you'll get. If you just go out into the world to get, then you're not gonna get anything. So the way that I do it, and by the way, I learned a lot of this uh, through School of Hard Knocks. I had some great mentors. Brian Barakat taught me in the very beginning. He said, okay, if you're gonna build your business, what you need to do is choose three networking organizations, and there's a lot of different kinds. Um, the three he had me choose were the local chamber of commerce, a local rotary club, which is a type of service organization, and a local group called BNI. Um, and BNI stands for Business Network International. And the point is that these are three different types of groups. So let's break them down. A Chamber of Commerce is a voluntary organization. Um, you can either be a member or you can pay just as events. And they typically host events. So the local Coral Gables Chamber of Commerce has about seven or eight consistent events every month. So first Wednesday of the month for lunch, second Tuesday of the month for lunch, right? And, and so you can put them on your calendar um, and you, don't, you can go to zero of them or you can go to all of them. And then what you do is when you go there, you're meeting other like-minded people. So that's the Chamber of Commerce. The second was a service organization. Now, the difference with a service organization is you're not really supposed to be just out there throwing out business cards and making it aggressively all about business. What you're supposed to be doing is actually trying to do good. So, for example, Rotary uh, organizes a lot of community service projects, usually once a month or once every couple months, a lot of fundraising, a lot of fellowship. And then hopefully after you do a Habitat for Humanity and you're building a house, then afterwards everyone goes and gets a soda pop together and somebody says, hey, what do you do? And you're like, oh, this is what I do. Um, the, again, the idea is to connect with new people. And then the third networking group is BNI, which is very organized, very regimented, very specific, and it is every Wednesday at seven o'clock. You have to apply to join. It's category exclusive. If you have too many absences, they kick you out. Um, and in there, again, the idea is to meet people. And they say when you're networking, people have to know you, they have to like you, and they have to trust you. And so that can develop over time of going to these Chamber of Commerce lunches or over time of doing community service projects. Um, but at BNI, you're, it's, it's, it's concentrated. It's almost like, I'm gonna get to know you, I'm gonna get to like you, and I'm gonna uh, get to trust you really quickly. Uh, and there's a, there's a whole system of how they do it. I, I won't spend too much time talking about it there. But at the end of the day, what's the whole point, right? The point is to come home and I end up with all these new connections. In fact, one of my mentors says he goes to every networking event trying to meet three new people and have five meaningful conversations. So they can overlap. So it can be three new people and three of those can be new meaningful conversations and then reconnect with two other old people. Um, but the idea is that you're getting your name out there, you're getting your face out there because the likelihood of somebody walking through life and being like, oh my God, I can refer someone to you right now is pretty low. But the likelihood that if you consistently make a good impression, you consistently present yourself well, you consistently are delivering a, a, a message. So for example, I talk about business law. I wanna meet entrepreneurs. I wanna meet successful entrepreneurs who are growing their business and who wanna have a legal companion for the journey, right? And so again, the odds that somebody just knows that person just offhand is pretty low. But the odds that within the next couple of weeks, they might come across somebody and they're like, oh, you know what? I, I, I know this guy, Eric, you should meet him. And then I get that introduction. So let's go back. So I go to the networking events, I get all the business cards. Then what I do is I organize uh, what we call one-to-ones or basically networking coffees. And I have a whole trick for that. I basically, I try to email within 48 hours of getting the card. I try to pick the location so that it's convenient for my life. Um, and then when I get there, I try to be polished. I try to be on time. I try to keep the, minute, the meetings to 45 minutes. And what I really wanna do is I wanna walk out of there with three things. Number one, I wanna make a good impression. Number two, I want to learn about their ideal client. And number three, I wanna learn about their ideal referral source. And then within a couple days of that meeting, after the fact, I'm gonna send them a handwritten thank you card and I'm gonna actually try to make an introduction, ideally to a perfect client, but more likely to a referral source. So I'll give you an example. I meet with an immigration lawyer. Immigration lawyer says, you know, I really like to meet with um, realtors who deal with Guatemalans. 
Okay, that's a pretty random request. But actually I start thinking, I'm like, wait a minute, I actually do know a Guatemalan realtor here in Miami. And so there you go. I'm making an introduction to the Guatemalan realtor, to the immigration lawyer, and now two people owe me a favor. So guys, that's kind of the EPGD networking in a nutshell. There's more to it we can dive in, but uh, hopefully you guys got a little bit out of it and we can do a little bit more focused 